Hello everyone. So you will recall about two years ago, I built my composting toilet and uh, there it is, a thing of beauty. And uh, I want to continue with the bottle wall method here. And uh, not in the bathroom, but out, outside. I'm going to show you in a moment. So this is what it looks like when a bottle wall is built inside an existing wall. So there was, um, what do you call it, vibe, a new tech on the outside. And this was just built against that. So this doesn't transmit any light. And I'm doing this same in, a, in another wall that I'm, I just started two days ago. Okay, so this is in my pas passage. And it looks like a, a, a royal bloody mess at the moment. But uh, there you see the new tech behind it. And this is where I'm busy uh, building the bottles and cans and old bricks and stones like that one and that one. That's just lying around your marmite bottles there's one and uh, bottles that a whole bunch of friends helped me to to uh, empty and crushed cans always wonder what to do with the crushed cans so i'm using them as you see up there as filler for some places where i don't want to use too much cement so this is again a wall that's a bottle wall that's built against an outside wall so it won't transmit any light okay so these are my bricks these are bricks that I made out of bottles and uh, we just started. The, I'm going to build them against these uh, the pallets here and then at the end I'm going to remove the pallets. So the pallets are now just serving sort of to, to make sure that everything on the outside is nice and level uh, or plumb. And so here you can see this is just the first layer. I put in the bottles and they've been filled up with a bit of cement and my buddy is busy making a new batch of cement because that's one of the things in life that I don't do. And then these guys are all going to go in there. Right, so phase one of uh, this part of the wall is, is done. Um, I just added some cement here and there this morning. And it was an absolute bloody nightmare. So I'm giving it a day. And then I'm going to start, uh, you know, just finishing it off a little bit. Uh, phase two is the part above the window. <coughs> and as you'll see here. I put an old solar battery in there that's no longer working and here's some bottles, booze bottles and coffee bottles and an aerosol can and over there we're going to have a marmite or a bottle or whatever bottle up there and then of course I have the absolute nightmare of working up in there. I have no idea how I'm going to do that yet because this is still brand new and it's only been, this, this cement is still wet here. I mean you can, you can see it's still wet. I'm going to leave this for a day so that it sets a bit before I carry on, just so those bottles are nice and, uh, you know, nice and tight. And this is the progress at this point with the outside one. So this is getting along quite nicely. We're just taking a break and then we're going to mix some more cement and carry on with it. Apparently you can't go more than five layers a day, so I'm going to go about four, maybe five layers today. And uh, then when I get to this level over there, I'm going to remove, actually over there, I'm going to remove the bottom pallet. Um, and then I still, still need to find a place for Mr. Lizard over there. Okay, so the outside bottle wall is, is getting along quite well. Um, I just wanted to show you guys the edge here. This was a, quite a difficult spot to work in. So with the edge, what we did is we took this uh, old gutter that we didn't have another use for and we just clamped it to the pole over here so it gave us that edge and I filled it up from both from the front and from the top. Um, here on the other side is the one that I just now did. You can see what it looks like and there's the, the gutter and the cat. The gutter is clamped there to the... Hey cat, leave that alone. Uh, is clamped there to the pole and uh, it sort of just serves as a as a as a shape uh, just to hold the cement so uh, we're going to leave this one i took this one off after a few hours but i think it was maybe i was a little bit hasty so this side we're going to leave it until tomorrow and then we're going to carry on the other thing that's of course really difficult is this brilliant idea i had over here with a bottle to to do that i won't do that again <laughs> Uh, I'll rather use these guys made out of exactly the same bottles I made them last night and just build them in like that, like, like the other bottles there. 
so they'll they'll serve that purpose but it's too late I'm not going to remove that one and uh, so let's see where this is going wish me luck so I just wanted to give you guys an update this is where we are now at this point and uh, I'm now <clears throat> that far with the part above the window just getting here I managed to secure this bottle in there and another one which you probably won't be able to see very clearly up there okay I'm gonna put this guy in here now I'm gonna work this is a very difficult spot to work in so I'm going to be dealing with this spot here now see how much cement I've got left and then it's just to cover up all of this and then I need to make it a bit prettier but yeah so this progress is quite good Pretty cool. And there's my work tools. Okay, so here we have the pallets have been removed at the back. It's still pretty rough. So all of these, these openings here, they have to be, you know, uh, nicely filled up and everything to round this thing off. This is what it looks like here from the front. Still not completely done. Still a lot of work to do, but just check how beautiful that is. Okay, basically, um, I'm basically done with the with this part, this bottle wall. Uh, there, you can see how I've gone up there with the cement. I've got cans in there and bottles, and uh, there's the solar battery, and there's the other one. And uh, the cement up there is now dried. This was I put this in yesterday. So only one thing left now. I've cleaned up that bottle, but I don't think you'll be able to see it really in there. <clears throat> fixed all of this patched up all the holes cleaned off the bottles that one I still need to get some paraffin or something in there to clean that off and uh, so now what's left now the only thing that's left now is I just got to paint my um, my clay onto this so I can give it some nice color and uh, then hang the blinds back again and we're done with the interior wall, the non-trans uh, light transmitting wall. There you go. I just painted it yellow with some clay that I had that I dug up here on the farm. And we're done. So now I can use this little dead spot here that isn't being used for anything else. I can just go and clean up the, the floor there a bit, get, get some of that cement off. And then I can use this for my solar batteries because I'm going to put them here. It's out of the way. But I'm very happy with this. The result is great. I've come to the end of the video. Um, the wall is basically finished, and uh, it's I'm I'm very happy with with the end result. This looks really cool. Transmits good light. And this is a this was a fun little project. I put in one of the uh, two liter wine bottles down there and uh, I thought at the beginning it was a good idea and then later on I didn't like it anymore and I, and I was supposed to well I wanted to take it out but by then it was too late and now it looks like I'm the only one who doesn't like it everyone else seems to like it quite a bit you can still see the 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 clay here I painted this this um, with clay that I dug out here on the property and I'm still just finish cleaning off all the bottles. Just completely. I just got lazy earlier. But uh, this is this is an awesome little project. I'm definitely going to build more bottle walls. And it's just, this is just one uh, quick last look. This is what it looks like at night with the light behind it. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this, remember to like and subscribe. Bye.